morning everybody, my name is Krzysztof Kaczka, I'm a flute player, as you can see. Uh, I come from Poland, uh, but I live in Kuwait. I teach the, in the college, music college. And I would like to uh, talk today uh, about flute sound, flute technique, and I hope you can uh, learn a little bit. Uh, maybe I would like to start uh, how I warm up. Uh, usually I don't have too much time in the morning because I start my job quite early, around 10 o'clock. So I come to college 8 or 8.30 and I'm trying to do some uh, breath and sound exercises uh, to be ready for my lessons. And uh, uh, so first I just take the flute and I play anything because I don't think it's good to start immediately with some difficult exercises like long notes and uh, so first I'm trying to, to be relaxed, to, uh, to enjoy it, okay? So I take a flute and just play anything. Then I can play some music uh, I like or I practice later, let's say some Bach sonata. And so on, till I feel, okay, now I'm ready to start uh, doing some serious work, okay? Uh, I have some special uh, help. This is a, a, a airbag. This helps me to relax because it's the most important to be relaxed in this part and to use more uh, muscles, uh, diaphragm. So, so I'm just taking this small help and doing some uh, exercises. It's very easy, you just blow in and blow out. So, flute is not so complicated. Yeah, and I'm doing this for a few minutes, you know, till I, I feel that it's here very relaxed, very open. Uh, very important that you clean it from, some to, from time to time. And then I take flute again. And I'm not starting with some beautiful sound. I'm trying to just to let the air go. So I'm doing some exercise, which I learned when I studied in Munich. Uh, you don't try to play nice. You just try to let the air go, yes? Uh, so, very important is you don't, you don't use tongue, you just use your muscles, your diaphragm and just, just blow. As strong as possible. And immediately after you play the sound, immediately you breathe. So you have no chance to, to get tense or to close your holes, okay? And you go like chromatically. You start from B naturals, you play B, C, B, C, B, C sharp, B, C sharp, B, D, B, D. So I think that's uh, all about this exercise. It will help you, for example, to play Prokofiev Sonata. There's one difficult uh, uh, moment that you have to uh, play D4 many times. Yeah, you know this famous passage. Okay, so this, this deep breath will help you to, to play this passage. So after this, I'm taking again my uh, bag and I try to exercise as, as much as possible on it, you know, so it will, it will really make me Relax, and then I start to play some long notes. You know for sure the Marcel Moyes La Sonorité book. Uh, so very standard, uh, very standard book, uh, especially for college students. And 
I do it every day. Mm, I, I don't need to play, but uh, mm, just show you a little bit. So this one through whole scale, uh, I do it without vibrato because I think uh, uh, vibrato is sometimes covering some, uh, uh, you know, some uh, bad things in our sound. So it's better to practice without vibrato. Uh, one of my teachers, a great flute, is Irena Grafenauer. She told me once, you know, the vibrato is like uh, clothes. You can hide everything, but playing with without vibrato is like being without clothes. You cannot hide anything. <laughs> 